Well, hello, interwebs. So, I was reading some stuff on the internet, um, primarily from news sources, and here I am, making a video. Why, do you ask? Well, it's because I'm tired of misinformation being brought to you, the viewer, by our lovely news centers. Okay, so we're going to talk about this. Ooh, what is this? This, my friend, is a battery. Okay, this, my friends, is what is powering almost every single vape mod in existence today. Okay, this is the one that they're like, oh, vaping's bad because boom, it blows up. I've been vaping for five years. None's ever blown up. Okay? Um, and I'm here to talk to you about the reasons why you should not fear this. Okay? This is a, a, a Lython battery. Okay? Meaning it is fully rechargeable. Um, this is a AA in a big version. This is a C battery or D battery in a smaller version. Okay, most people don't talk about the reasons why these things go bad um, is because somebody's misinformed. Um, maybe they bought their stuff on the internet and so they just said, well, it's just a battery so I can carry this guy in my pocket with some keys and some change. No, no, you can't. Any shop has these guys. This is called a battery case. Look at there. Now I can put it in my pocket with keys and change because it's fully by itself and it can't touch any other metal because it's in plastic. This is what keeps people safe. Putting this in your pocket with some change and some keys is only a recipe for disaster and it's only given the newscaster something bad to say about vaping. Um, see this little device here? It's lovely. Ooh, so tasty. Okay, this little thing has a nice cool feature on it. If you watch my screen. Oh no, something's going wrong. Oh no! It's not going to let anything dramatic happen. It's got a chip inside of it that's going to tell it, hey, wait, check something out because something's not right. Okay? So it would not let this blow up. Okay? It would not. The only reason why these are even a topic of discussion is because somebody is not educated. Hi, I'm here to teach you what you gotta do um, to not blow your leg off. Let's just use this, okay? If you're gonna build your own coils, make sure you have one of these devices that has a screen on it so that you can see what you're safely building at. Build to the battery speculations if you so choose to. But I'm going to tell you, I get real nice clouds out of this guy right here. Um, so I've kind of give up on building. Why waste my time when I can get these clouds without having to ruin my nails? Okay? So please, everyone, tag your favorite newscaster. Tag your favorite news team. Show them this video, okay? Because this is safe. Safe! Oh my gosh, see? It didn't blow up. It's not touching any kind of metal, right? So let's just debunkify all of these. Oh, vape's bad because it can blow your face off. Um, no, it's not because you have to use things properly. Go to a shop. Ask anyone in a shop, have you ever blown your face off? They're going to say no because they know the proper handling techniques for these. Um, and just to clarify, if I haven't already done so, um, 
This can be any battery. Okay? Double A, triple A, C, D. If you put it in your pocket and you have keys or you have change in your pocket, even if it goes in Tiny Tim's little toy, it's going to blow up because that power has no place to go when it comes in contact with metal. Okay? So you don't carry around A batteries or AA batteries in your pocket with change. You shouldn't carry around your vape batteries in your pocket with any change either. Okay? So happy vaping, everyone. Stay safe out there. Tag your news centers and make sure that they see this video about how vaping is not as scary as what they're making it seem.